I wanted to stay connected with Japan. So what can I do to do that? And then I kind of just sort of realized, well, you know, the thing, Japanese people are smart, good educational system, but they have terrible pronunciation. Um, the sound aspect. They can read and write quite well, but their level of pronunciation is way below. So you have people who are incredibly well educated with every degree you can possibly have. They open their mouth and people go, what? What? Could you repeat that? Which is humiliating. Japan is a country based on shame, you know, control, top down shame and stuff. And I just realized that given my background, first of all, as a voice person speaking Japanese, you know, English, and as a creative person, that I could figure out a way to really help them. Because I know how their mind works as well as their heart works. I know how the mind is putting all the stuff together. So just over a period of time, I mean, I got a few books to sort of learn the the nomenclature of pronunciation, you know, okay, they talk about these, this vocabulary. But then I just started working with people and just figuring out, seeing what they can do, what they can't do, understanding how the movements of the mouth, tongue, lips, jaw are different for English and Japanese. So, okay, so I can speak English and here's how the mouth moves. Here's what my tongue's doing when I speak Japanese. How can I describe in a way that they will understand how to make the changes of moving the tongue this way to that way? And so mm -hmm. gradually just worked out and then a whole methodology to sort of present it in a way that they could understand instead of like, here's this little sound and here's this other little sound, a whole structure to an approach. And so I just, you know, kept doing that and got better and better at it. And then as I got better and better, I loved it even more and kind of felt like, all right, this is really useful. And people would just be like, why couldn't I have learned this when I was a kid? And why aren't you teaching all the people in Japan, blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, I taught live in New York for a number of times. And then I created a uh, video course, 105 videos uh, of my complete method with Japanese subtitles. And I'm trying to, you know, get that so the, people in the Japan. Method. The, you, don't you call it the Papano method? The Papano method. That's it. And um, I also I also have a uh, singer's course, pronunciation for singers, because I am a singer. And it's really fun. I mean, speech, there's a book, if you guys are interested. It's nothing to do with this exactly. It's called This is the Voice. It came out just six months ago, maybe. It's an amazing book. This is the voice uh, by, that talks about every aspect of the voice and what it means and how it evolved. And if you think about it, before language, before vocabulary, anything, we are singing. You know, you're hearing your mother's voice when you're in the womb for two or three months before you're born. So you learn the rhythm and melody of your own language before you were born. They did a study this is sorry, off topic, but it's so fascinating. They did a tough a study of newborn babies, German and French babies, and just completely newborn, and they recorded them crying, and then they analyzed their crying, and French babies cry in French, German babies cry in German. <laughs> There's a completely different melodic rhythmic feel. You know, French French is and the Germans are boom, and the babies, that's how they are crying. So that well, you so know, you know, before you're born, before you learn a single word, you're already making the music of your language, right? And so all these elements. Anyway, I find all that stuff incredibly fascinating. This book, <laughs> This is the Voice, is amazing, just as an aside. So that's what I'm doing. I have a singer's class where I wrote 30 original songs, each one focusing on technique, so that they're practicing the technique, which is all part of my system, as they're singing these little original songs. 